Hi everybody, it's Al again. I'm just uh, going to give everybody a quick update as to what's going on here, uh, where, how things are progressing. As you can see, it's a mess, uh, but I'm almost done. That's the good news. Uh, so here's what's going on. I got uh, my wind turbine one, uh, turbine two, and uh, the wind power is coming from this come do it here. Just can't do it here. See that uh, wind turbine controller, charge controller goes to a disconnect switch and an ammeter, so I can monitor what's going on. And then it goes down here, and it goes back up to this box here. Uh, the other wind turbine comes up uh, through this guy here, and it comes across back into back in through here. And it comes up, up, up. Goes up to that uh, charge controller for the other wind turbine. And then from there, it goes out into the disconnect switch and an ammeter, and then down to the same box where the other one went to. And from here, uh, I'm also tying in uh, power from the two kilowatts of DuPont panels that I brought in. I'm not bringing it now, but that's going to be a future addition. But everything's ready to go. So the wind turbine or the power for the uh, solar panels is going to come into this box here. I'm going to have a, a three-way uh, battery selector switch uh, out on the wall uh, on the end of the house where the uh, main power panel is. And that's going to have a, um, a Selectria uh, two kilowatt uh, grid tie inverter. So if uh, we were have an extended uh, power outage, I simply switch the battery selector to bring the power from the solar panels here, and then these charge controllers will put the power that they need out to this panel. From this panel, it can it'll everything comes to this panel here, and then from this panel is going to have another battery selector switch, which will allow me to either send the, the power to the 24 volt battery bank that I got to put in there because that's a 12 volt and that's a 24 volt small one that I'm using for right now. Uh, or I can select it to go up through this conduit into this box and then break into these old uh, cheap Chinese grid tie inverters. Why did I do that? Well, because I'm going to be a grid tie from the Selectra uh, high quality inverter uh, most of the time anyway. and. Uh, only uh, in an uh, actual emergency would I ever switch it to bring the power here and then uh, go on and charge my battery. So at that time, uh, I wouldn't need uh, power to go to those uh, GTIs. So the way that it's going to work normally is that no power is going to come in from this side here, but power will always come in from the wind turbines. So I want that wind turbine power to be used uh, to go straight to grid tie. So that's uh, why I did it that way. Uh, and then, uh, as you can see, that's a new addition. That's a MagnaSign 4 kilowatt um, a pure sine wave inverter. I still got to mount the remote uh, control unit on the battery monitors uh, out there. And uh, so the uh, GC2 batteries, the 6 volt battery bank, is going to go down here. Uh, that's a 12 volt uh, battery bank and that feeds a separate circuit altogether which uh, is in use right now and you can see uh, I can isolate the batteries here uh, and shut off all the power and what's going on here is that those batteries are getting charged uh, from this charge controller which is coming in from my uh, panels uh, for the uh, the Harbor Freight panels, which uh, I'm going to expand. I got 420 watts. I'm going to expand it up to 800 watts, bring it to its full maximum, and then I can disconnect it here. Why do I do that? Because uh, I don't have that much power consumption in my shed. Uh, I have two freezers which pull about, you know, 250 watts, I guess, total. So that's not a whole lot. And then I have my water pump uh, that does come on and uh, the uh, water softener which I'm working on right now and then the well pump which, we just w which does pull quite a bit of power that pulls about uh, 7 amps so there's going to be uh, a whole different circuit that I'm putting it together here 
and the whole uh, shed is going to be actually fed through this uh, pure sine wave inverter which is 2 kilowatts and if I were to turn it on uh, uh, so right now you know if, if it was daylight I would be charging those batteries through the charge controller which is that guy over there right uh, so if I were to close the switch here now I can turn this on and uh, the 120 volt power here actually um, powers this uh, 240 uh, um, uh, inverter or not inverter but converter so it takes a 120 volt single phase and it converts it into uh, a 240 volt 120 240 and this guy can go up to 4 kilowatts uh, obviously it's not going to go to 4 because it's only 2 but uh, what I'm doing here is I put in a, uh, a generator kind of outlet here, a twist lock. So I'll have some outlets here and some power that is going to tie into those and, and that's how I'm going to isolate the circuit to uh, to my shed. So the way that's going to happen is if this bank ever goes down for whatever reason, uh, it's all going to get connected <coughs> to this uh, IOTA uh, automatic transfer switch, which is 120 volts. and the reason that I'm going to do that is I'm just, I just need to monitor one leg out of that out of that unit here. So if that thing ever goes down, it will automatically flip over to commercial power from my 30 amp breaker that's coming in from the outside for the well pump, which is actually being controlled here. Because that's, that's how the well pump fills this 305 gallon tank that I'm putting here. So if I ever have an emergency, you know, I got plenty of water, but now that I have solar and wind, uh, that's not going to be so much of an issue. However, uh, I have a float switch in here that controls this uh, well pump. So when the water level gets too low in here, it fills it up. And that's where this guy is going to go in here. So 120 is going to come in from that 12-volt um, battery bank that I was showing you. Uh, actually 240 volts, but 120 we monitor right here. If I ever lose power from my battery bank here, uh, then this thing will switch the circuit to bring commercial power uh, for those things, uh, for the well pump and the, the house pump, as well as everything else in the shed. And then I'm going to put in some uh, additional s uh, outlets up here, um, you know, to, to have around them, move outlets all the way around. So. Uh, this guy here, when power is, uh, uh, if I ever want the power on, um, so the battery, the, the power from the batteries will come into here. Uh, there will be a positive and a negative cable. And that will feed uh, this MagnaSign 4 kilowatt pure, uh, pure sine wave inverter to these uh, number two uh, cables. And then uh, there's also uh, 240 coming in from outside uh, into this box here. Uh, because what that does is this, this thing has a 55 amp battery charger. When I put in my bank of batteries, that's what's going to keep it charged. Remember I told you that I'm not going to have my solar coming in here. So I need to have the means to have those batteries charged when they need to on exercise. So that this guy's going to do that for me. Uh, and then the output of that, it's going to go through this uh, 60 amp uh, 240 uh, disconnect here. And uh, a cable going down and then out through a through the building uh, connector and then out to my uh, main power panel and then that's going to have a transfer switch that goes out to the house. So whenever I have a power loss uh, this guy will always be running no big deal here. Uh, biggest thing I'll have to do is go outside flip the switch and then that guy will be working and I'll be working off of those batteries. Meanwhile I can then transfer uh, my battery switch that I, w that I told you I still have to put in here. So my solar panels, my 2,000 watts of solar panels will work, will come in through here. And remember I also have another 420 watts which is going to get of the Harbor Freight panels which is going to get up expanded to 800 watts. And then in addition to that I have the 1.6 kilowatts of sharp panels that are grid tied. So Whenever I'm off grid, as long as I have a pure sound wood inverter like that that's feeding the circuits in the house, my grid tie inverters, micro inverters under the sharp panels, will see that there's power and they will begin producing power. So net net is that I'll have 
about 4.8 kilowatts of solar coming in all together, and 2 kilowatts of wind. And in the future, next year, it'll be that one project that I uh, showed some of you uh, a while back, where the big old motor is going to be my uh, 5 kilowatt uh, wind generator. So that's a future project uh, in and of itself. But anyway, uh, I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. And uh, I'm going to be taking vacation here soon, so I'm um, trying to get this done before I go. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. And uh, remember to uh, change your habits on this uh, upcoming Thanksgiving. And truly be thankful to the Lord for everything that he does and gives us, for all we have, for the breath that we take every day, even for waking up in the morning and the life that he breathes into us moment by moment. Uh, let's turn this uh, Thanksgiving back to what Thanksgiving used to be, a day of giving thanks to God and to the Lord Jesus for our salvation and for all we have that comes from Him for all His blessings, good or bad because even the bad things are for our good to either make us stronger, make us come closer to Him bring us to salvation uh, and it's all good because everything is done right by the Lord so everybody take care God bless you all have a great Thanksgiving bye